Hi, my name's Nick, Nick Levy. Uh, I'm, well, we're currently sitting in uh, my studio at Atelier Art Classes in Salisbury, which is uh, a little suburb just to the south of Brisbane. And uh, I am still sort of involved in teaching the skills that people are unlikely to be able to sort of uh, learn elsewhere. What does the Atelier has to offer to its students and artists? I teach, and my colleagues here teach, uh, the basics. So uh, the workshops are in um, working with a figure, drawing, painting, landscape. I teach people about tone, principally tone. Um, and then when we're looking at tone, we're also looking at colour at a later stage. What does makes you feel like teaching? It's the joy, really, of seeing other people succeed. There is no better reward. What's success for you? The success is in themselves. Um, for people to come in, you can see that light bulb moment. You can see when they suddenly got it, they realise what it is. And it might be in their conversation at the coffee table, you know, after they've been to a museum for the first time, or a gallery um, for the first time since they came here. And they think, I saw things in different ways. They understood better what it is that uh, the artists whose work they were looking at was trying to say. That's um, a big difference. Uh, it's also, of course, in seeing their progression um, as time goes on. And of course that differs with everybody. Some people get it within months, others might take years. But they get it. They understand what they're looking at. Um, I was looking for the representational. Um, that's where I sort of uh, set my skills. And um, that, that's what I took from Julian Ashton's school. What I offer now is much the same thing, which is why I have workshops, because other people do different things to me. There are another nine students, certainly nine, nine people uh, who have uh, studios here. Um, follow your heart, don't lose your sense of purpose. If you don't have a sense of purpose, paint when it pleases you, but you probably won't be an artist. What sort of mistakes have you seen as a constant in your students when they are starting to learn? The same mistake as I saw in myself, I put off doing what I did until my sort of early 40s, I think, um, in any meaningful way. Uh, the biggest mistake is uh, not pursuing your heart. Uh, one of the things I thoroughly enjoy is um, going down to the pub and drawing the people there, or a cafe or whatever. Then I'll draw them, I'll bring them back, and then I'll put them into a painting. So you might find lots of people that never met each other, sitting alongside each other. Um, that inspires me. People will come to me and say, I want to paint like Van Gogh, I want to paint like Gauguin, I want to paint like Rembrandt. Then they're kidding themselves, I want to paint like Van Gogh, cut your ear off, shoot yourself. Um, Rembrandt, okay, go to town, have a whale of a time, go broke, dive in poverty, having left an extraordinary legacy. Uh, you're not going to be somebody else. You need to be yourself, and at the point at which you can express yourself, can Consistently, that's the word I would use. When you can ex consistently express yourself in a way that pleases you, then that's when you're the artist you wish to be. This isn't an institution, it's one-to-one. -one. And if, if you have a question, you ask me. You don't wait for three hours for the teacher to come around. I'm there, I'm having a cup of coffee with you. I'm standing by your shoulder, sort of um, looking at the painting. I'm standing with somebody else who's uh, probably you know, doing much the same thing as you have been, whether it be for a day, whether it be for six, seven years, some of them. You, know, you don't get a second chance. There is one life, use it. At the same time, supporting those people who have magic in their soul. Um, I'd like to take the time for myself to be able to do what I want to do. We also have a big party here once a year, which is at the end of the year. Mm-hmm.